60 minutes of insane gameplay which has just elevated my mindset to even more hype when it comes to this game and there's no doubt within my mind that this is the game for me. Like, how do I even start to really process and comprehend what I just saw? Now, this video is just going to be short and sweet as I just kind of go over what I've seen briefly. Obviously, I will be making more videos going more in depth over the coverage from IGN. But in regards to this video, what a introduction to a game this was. Now, as you know, Gotham Knights will be focusing around the four heroes that once were prodigies of the big bad bat of course this is skipped a little bit forward because we're not going to see the initial introduction of the game but this takes place where we get to choose which character we're going to start the game with within this case the gameplay got started with batgirl aka barbara gordon now what i really do like about this is that it has that atmospheric approach where it is a completely brand new journey that we're about to embark on now not only does it really captivate that by making us feel and get to grips and learn the new character by taking us through a brief tutorial but what i want to say is i like certain sections where the gameplay elements really do change and you really do get a sense of various different things going on straight away now of course this is going to be a new world new concept new systems to learn and everything like that and I'm, it's going to baby us through it's going to baby us through slowly it's not going to throw us into this dark pit where we're just left and we ain't got a clue what's going on it's going to give us baby steps and i do feel that this was the perfect introduction of how to start a game now People might be looking at this um, gameplay and think, oh, but it didn't do this and it didn't do that. Of course, they're going to still hold back on things. They're still going to keep things to themselves and not just throw us straight away into this mixed match of craziness. But what I can say is from now, I do like the fighting system. I do like the combat. I feel like this combat really and truthfully is going to be more strategic and methodical when it comes to taking on large groups of enemies now i could easily say i'm not here to badmouth arkham i think that arkham is a great series arkham really does have elements that are absolutely beautiful that game is a great game but let's be truthful like if we look back at the arkham combat there isn't really there isn't really much depth to it there's not come on let's be real please be honest with me like guys like there isn't really depth. Like, at one stage, Batman can do a 20-foot flip across the room and still get in contact with someone else, and he's able to just take them down with great ease. And of course, at the time, that was acceptable, but I want to be able to take on people and enemies and know that I'm really trying to work out great positionings and making sure that I can subdue that character to go and take down that character to move back to that character and so on and I really do feel like this is something that we're going to feel when we take on Gotham Knights. Another aspect of this gameplay that was showcased very well was the detective side and I feel like that is something that is really prevalent by becoming a Gotham Knight or becoming a knight within Gotham because of course Batman was a great in fact Batman was the world's greatest detective and he would have passed those skills on to those that were underneath him and to see those gameplay elements really being showcased in the early stages of the game just goes to show how the crime solving and puzzle solving or detective work will later unfold to become a little bit more challenging and so on because of course this is just the intro and I really do feel like it did get a grasp of what it was trying to showcase within the first 16 minutes of this playthrough and I really am excited for this game and I do stand by this game and I still think that this game is going to be incredible once I find Finally do get to play it i like the way how the interaction was the only thing i can honestly say that i would probably downfall about the game was maybe the audio mixing was a little bit off maybe that will obviously be something that will be addressed later on for release because i could hear batgirl very clearly but when it came to the other nights i did feel like it was a little bit low or a little bit muffled but that's just me personally i'm not really trying to nitpick but that for me was the only thing that i can say that i had a issue with or just a slight concern about but apart from that in regards to this game i do feel like this is something that you really need to keep your eye on guys i do feel like the fact that you can play this game as a solo player or co-op with someone once you've got great handling of your character you are gonna have so much fun imagine you and your buddy from i don't know across the world team up and you're able to go into a 
building and beat the crap out of multiple enemies and be doing it in such a fancy and stylish way now i really do hope that this game continues to give us more footage and i will be covering it and there should be some more videos popping up on your screen right now and if you do want to go and check those out i really would appreciate it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy peace